He's Robot Magneto, not a robot. Hey, welcome to the show. We saw the Goonies this weekend. No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, we saw E.T. The, yeah. um, Super... Super uh, no. Uh, Super Earth to Echo. We yeah. saw Earth to Echo this weekend, uh, which was directed by relative newcomer Dave Green and starring a bunch of kids who have not done anything, but this. will. Yeah. Um, Grant. That's really all I have to say. What do you think about Earth Echo? I really enjoyed it. It was a good experience. All right. Some undis- <laughs> We're done. There we go. Get out of here. Good show. Nah. <laughs> but, <laughs> and it's not a perfect movie for me in no. any way. I had a great time watching it. Do you want it to be? Nah. Do you want it to be a perfect movie? They market it. They they, they do a crafty thing. I love it. And it's it's a cra- it's, <laughs> it works so well for me. It's a red herring in this. It does work really well for this. It's a found footage film. And but, but it's not found footage like where you've seen found footage where it's like they put up security cameras or like a guy happens to have a camcorder during a disaster. It's like, no, this kid wants to be a filmmaker. Or like he just wants to be on YouTube. He loves, he's obsessed with cameras and things and he loves filming everything they do and that's just who he is. And So the whole stru- thing is structured in that he has taken all this footage that they shot over this weekend and put it together to make a movie and this is that movie. Yeah, and it's... And it's, it has a terrible voiceover. Yeah. But, but it's fine, because it's the kid. It's and this a, is, like a, a what, 15-year-old kid? He would have a terrible voiceover in his movie. And that's, so it's fine. It's the red herring. It's that, that, yeah. It actually works. And a lot of, I didn't think it was going to work. But it's fine. It works. YouTube, and it cuts randomly. And But all in all, I say there's some, there's some flaws that are there. They're not, they're not glaring, though. I say there's flaws. It's not... It's just kind of like... It's like eating a... A banana that's been out for two days still tastes great, but there's a few brown spots on the outside. You know, like, brown spots are not going to hurt you. No, you can cut them out if you want, but like, there's whatever no reason to. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's it's one of those things. Like, I really like the. This is so. What sets it apart from things like E.T. Goonies and everything we said? The Goonies is probably one of the closer of the feeling movies in the sense that the story is more based about. These friends' relationship to each other. It's uh, the way I think I'm going to end up describing this to people is that it's the plot of E.T., but it feels like Goonies. Yeah, because it's. Because it's the plot. I mean, it is kind of basically the plot of E.T. Like in the Goonies, Sloth is there and he is a part of it. That's kind of the weird, almost mysterious deal to it, but it's not about finding Sloth. And it's not even about Echo to that point. It's about these kids. Facing something bigger than themselves, yeah. and that's and that's really the relationship between these three child actors is great. I really buy their friendship, and there's a few times that, and this is no fault. It's working with child actors where they have things like the writing calls for a super plot devicey moment here or there that is pretty saccharine for an adult audience. Yeah, things like walking in on the brother at the exact moment they're like. Tuck's not going to believe this. Tuck walks in the doors. It's a sitcom, but it's that's adult problems. This is great for kids. Oh, yeah. Well, it makes everything very accessible. It's like, um... I, I want to I wanna tread lightly on yeah. what I'm about to say. <laughs> this movie feels very much like someone's first movie. And I mean that as a, a glowing compliment. Um, it doesn't have any of the baggage of old Hollywood. It doesn't have yeah. any of... The like these are the tropes that you hit in an action adventure movie. It doesn't. It, it doesn't try to be everything else. It's. It's simply. This is the story we're telling, and here it is. It's pretty. It's really. It, even though we make. Yeah, we make that joke that it's about the. It's like these other movies. It's very fresh. You're absolutely right. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't go down as old hat. It's not. It's not a. It's like those other movies in that it gives you that same feeling, and as opposed to. It, there's no reason to go see it. Yeah, Transformers Four is very like Transformers Three in that if you've seen Transformers Three, how dare you and don't see Transformers Four? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this is like if you've seen the Goonies, go see Earth the Echo. It's kind of like the Goonies. Yeah, and and there's it's so funny because this is another example. It also has like height. It has a heightened universe in yeah. itself works it totally works but it's not too heightened it's just no. like it's like it's really nice that one extra just tilt yeah. which like in tea or coffee or anything like that that extra spoonful of sugar could ruin it for you it really could help the medicine go down it's yeah. basically what you're saying yeah it's one of those things it's yeah. like it's a great experience but like if you really don't like that saccharine feel then 
you'll probably hate this because it is up to a degree up. Well, and that's your problem. If you <laughs> don't like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <That's your problem. laughs> if you don't like that saccharine feel, then don't you know, go see children's adventure movies. I mean, that's fair. You probably hated the Goonies too. Now, something we because. Yeah, what? The chunk Goonies. Love, chunk love sloth. <laughs> yeah, sloth love, love junk. junk. I mean... <laughs> anyway, one of, the, one of the big problems that we're going to talk about here, and something that I'm kind of... I, I'm fr- frustrated about, and this is kind of like... Let's just... I'm excited. Yeah, right? Another film more aspect, right? So we have this girl character. This is, She's the weakest link to, in this to me. She's there to have ovaries. Yeah, and, and this is what is so frustrating. In a and I was telling Katrina about it when we got dinner, is in a movie where we already have these young children actors, have her be one of their Part friends of the and not be the girl. Be a person. You've got children. Well, and not only do we use her just to have a girl in the group, but it's like, then we have to add the whole, like, Will they? Won't they? With Alex, and that's it's just weird. Like, and it's that's not because, and that's not the point of this movie. In the, in the Goonies, you have this kid who is starting to have feelings for girls, and you see he's going through that feeling. So having this whole like interacting with older girls, it is that like I see my brother kind of gets is gets yeah. girls, and I'm kind of getting there, and I want to be a certain. I can't be there, and that all works. It works because they're not his age. Yeah. We're, we accept that they are, we accept that the female characters in The Goonies are, we're going to talk a lot about The Goonies this yeah. episode. It's because it's The a great, Goonies is like my favorite movie. It's a great comparison. <laughs> it's a great, we accept. Especially for the time. Yeah. Like. Oh, totally. And, we accept the yeah. late, the women in The Goonies being kind of idealized and set on a pedestal and just being there to be women. Yeah. Because they're, they're older and we're seeing, I mean, it's an ensemble piece, but we're watching the movie through Mikey. Yeah. We're, we're watching the movie through Mikey's eyes, and to Mikey, that's who those people are. Yeah. His brother is super cool in the movie because Mikey thinks his brother is super cool. Like, yeah. it's... And, but in this, there's no... They don't, gr- they don't grasp that quite as well. No. Uh, I think that's something that a more experienced uh, production team would have done a better job with. Uh, I it's not something that I fault them for. No, it's it's just like that's it's, it's this this is it's it is difficult to some degree with tropes and whatnot to establish. I feel like adult women to be it it's harder to not to fall. Mm, it's harder to avoid tropes when you're writing for an adult woman as a man. I can say that especially yeah. from writing. You've got a child, like they're kids still, so you can ease, you can do anything with this girl. She could be interested in any. She just treat her. She can be interested in anything. She doesn't even, and she can just be a part of their friends instead of having they add her in, and then like, she just feels like extra. They even have to uh, explain away her getting to know Echo off screen, which was funny joke, but it still is like. I, See, that was the only thing that I liked. Um, I thought it was interesting that Tuck just dismisses that whole thing and on screen yeah, deletes, deletes all the, the footage, footage. Yeah. which is a funny joke. And then later on, she's like, "It's not, a, it's not a spaceship. It's a key." Yeah. And that's it. That I think that's a fun like. That's the only time that they make her not just the girl. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it's like, yeah, you guys are that's fine, but she's actually been like learning things. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, you know, yeah. doing it. So. My standout. Oh, also, sorry. Let's talk about one of the other only other real big problems I have outside of a few whatever little saccharine moments is the is I got weirded out a little bit because the movie slowly shifts to being about Alex. It's sure. not about Alex in the beginning. It's about all three of them, and we're seeing it through Tuck's lens, and then and it's at least about Munch at that. But even though he's the first one we meet, and then towards uh, the end, it's like all Alex. I thought it was all about Alex the whole time. Really? Yeah. I didn't get that at first. I yeah, felt well, very. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. So it weirded me out. Suddenly, I was like, "And we're not that focusing was, yeah, on anybody I can, else." I can see how that would be jarring. Yeah. So. Yeah, because it just gets so like. They probably they probably could have made that clearer. Yeah, which is it's not a big issue, like I said, and you said you saw it a different way. So. Yeah. But that was one of those things that I was like, 
and do the other kids not have friends with him? <laughs> like, no. no, just no. just Alex. <laughs> I really love the kid who played Munch. I yeah, think he good. does a great job. And maybe it's just my own nostalgia talking about the Goonies. Is I feel like we've got a kid who kind of looks like just a chunkier Sean Astin at that age. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, and the, here's the deal. <laughs> He really does. Right, see, when we talked about him, he looked exactly like James Corden. But like, also like, yeah, I mean, I can see, I see it. I totally see it. Uh, I am really impressed with him. Uh, Reese Hartwig, yeah, Reese Hartwig, uh, who plays Munch, Reginald, Reginald, uh, to his non-friends, to every, all but two people. Um, Munch of the Reginald Munch of the Reginald Munches. Anyway, uh, he did a really fantastic job. It would be very, very easy for him to play Chunk. Oh, yeah. I mean, not that he has that in his sphere of influence, probably. He's, what, how, he's like, what, 13, 14? I don't know how old he is. I think I they're all about 15. All children between the ages of 7 and, like, 16 just blur for me now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, I, it would be so easy for that character to just be like, and there's Chunk. That's obviously the Chunk character. And he's obviously the Chunk character. I mean, they call him Munch. He has, he's the only one with a nickname. He's Yeah, he's the goofy nickname, yeah. Well, that can make him mouth, too. Yeah. They all have nicknames. It, it's, they do. It's but... Mikey and the nickname Munch. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey, Data, M- uh, uh, Chunk. I said Munch. Munch. Chunk, Sloth. Yeah, mouth. it is true. I forgot about... I mean, I remember Data, but... forgot about the mouth. Or that he was called the mouth, sorry. Because yeah. he's not as much as what, everybody else. What else do you call him? <laughs> Pimp? In every movie. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Enough about the Goonies. Um, I thought he was fantastic. Uh, Tio Holm? Holm. Yeah, Tio Holm played Alex. Phenomenal. Yeah. He did phenomenal work. I was so impressed with him. Yeah. And he is going to be in Bukowski that James Franco is directing, <laughs> and I'm super pumped about that now. I want to see more from the Astro, whatever his name is, that more rapper. Rapping? Yeah, more rapping. Now, I am not a rapper. I want to see him. Astro is a rapper. Act more. And I feel like this is kind of. I could feel he did such a good job. I feel like he, this kid could just act like this all the time, like Tuck. You know, I want to yeah. see him do something that stretches that a little bit more. Yeah, all three of our main cast members are wonderful, and we want to see more of them. That's the best thing we could say about it. As yeah. child actors, it's yeah. I I want more of all three of them in whatever we can get them in. Who's like, the Who's the kid who played Charlie Bucket in the? Uh, Johnny Depp. What's his name? No, I don't know. I can't remember his name. He's in Finding Neverland. Oh, was... All I can think of now is Haley Joel Osment. I know that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like in his 20s. <laughs> well, anyway, not since that kid have I been this impressed with a young actor. Yeah. Like this age group. Not anyway. that he's this age group. But regardless... Besides all that, uh, at its this movie, mm. this movie sells itself well. It is what it is. De- it's selling. It delivers everything you could expect from it. And yeah, great, great trailer. Yeah, uh, yeah, that it, first one. That's right. We have it coming soon. There's a link. Oh yeah, it's here. Uh, it beeps. It also was at the beginning of the video with like text around it, so that you didn't have to watch all of this video. To Suddenly find be out. like, oh right. Oh, yeah. no. We got an answer up here, and this is where we won. We haven't had this for a little while. I am not as sold on the theater, if only for the if only for the fact that it wasn't. It's not like a. This movie could have been blown out of proportions in its epic adventureness, which it is an adventure, and so, I was charmed by it. it has a lot of charm, but I was like, I don't. It's not. I don't like it enough to be like. Everybody should go spend fifteen dollars, whatever, to go see it. I, on the other hand. I've spent my entire adult life trying to remember how I felt when I watched The Goonies the first time. And he, he, hasn't, he hasn't seen Super 8 either, which is something I haven't say, seen Super 8 either. Which is really good. So good. Watch Super 8. Like, I haven't seen Super 8. You can, you can come check us out on Twitch, and we'll tell you the story about why he hasn't seen it. <laughs> no, it's not story twice on Twitch already. You can, you'll tell it again. Anyway. Um, uh, yeah, so I haven't seen Super 8, but I, and I, I, love, I love this movie. I say see it in theaters for mainly two reasons. Um, number one, we didn't get a lot of this because we went on a Sunday night, but we got a little bit of it coming out of the theater. Um, if you go see this movie at a time when there are children also seeing this movie, and you don't hate children, it, it will be absolutely delightful. Just to watch the Here look of wonder on people's yeah. faces walking out. It, it, I mean, 
there were a, not a whole lot of kids in our audience, or two or three kids, Sunday night. Um, but they were like pumped when they finished the movie. A couple of times, a little girl sitting in front of me was like, <gasps> and I was just like, yeah, awesome. This is what <laughs> movies should do. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that's number one. That's a cool experience I, to have. And I agree. If you have kids, go, go oh take my God, your kids. If you have kids, why I'm, I'm talking as an, as an adult to adults. If it's just you, for me, what I said. Take what I said. But it's for that, worth it to see agree. other people's kids if you like kids. Yeah. So, anyway, two. <laughs> Keep going. I just but wanted not, to say I'd agree. Not, I, not what I said in a creepy way. Whatever. <laughs> it's worth it to see other people's kids. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. I stand by it. I had to interrupt to make sure that everybody knows I agree with that fact. If you have kids, take your kids. Like, yeah, oh my god, take your kids. And your kids will love this movie. And it's also these... Also see the Marvel gang. But yeah. that's harder, because that's Spanish. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. What, what else? One movie, Super 8 notwithstanding, gave you this feeling. Felt like this movie in the past 20 years. Hard to say, and for what reason is, I feel like there's been this period in history where we have, like, cheapened this... We were trying to put out more Mac and Me's than we were trying to put out the Goonies in movies. And Mac and Me was terrible. It really was. It's funny to watch, but for all the wrong reasons. So is Mono's Hands of Fate. You know, right? Yeah. So, I feel like there's this black eye on the film industry where they were trying to just sell things to kids and make this kind of movie but really just to sell toys and stuff see there's not a lot of marketing that can be done for this movie exactly you can sell echoes but like end of list yeah and that's and that's what's great and why i in talking about kids and i'll say it tenfold see it with see it take your kids like because this this feeling and what's important about this in like the goonies is it's an adventure that your kids are seeing kids participate in not some hero, not even chosen ones. It's just these kids taking, just going on an adventure, and that's what excites other kids is seeing kids. You don't like have them. to be chosen. You just have to be you. Yeah, like here's here's my final my <laughs> final argument. If you are our age group, mid twenties, yeah, uh, you probably grew up with the Goonies. You probably grew up with ET. And also the generation above us, even those two. Yeah. Uh, and you may, judging by the past twenty or thirty years of film industry, you may never get a chance to see a movie that gives you that feeling again. <laughs> this is a good one. Yeah. So if you liked the Goonies, there's no excuse not to go see this movie. Yeah. And that's and I agree with that. I'm just wondering if it's worth seeing it. Yes. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't do it again. Yeah. You may never get to again. Hmm. There's nothing else for you. Yeah. So you just choose who you want to decide uh, with. I want to decide with me. I'll put it close to the line. I'll go a little over. I'll go close to the line. <laughs> I had I had a better argument than you. Oh, whatever. Because <laughs> your argument was like... <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And then, uh, what's down? The, and the microphone. Hello. Who won? Oh, yeah. You oh, should tell us. That's totally in true. In the comments. <laughs> who you think who is you right. Who you agree with. And uh, you should say who you agree with and why it's me. <laughs> or is it? No. Thanks for watching. You can check us out here on YouTube every Wednesday and Friday. We have this show and another called Coming Soon, where we view and review the previews. Yeah, that. And we also stream twice on Twitch, Saturdays, Mondays, and there's more coming, so you should come hang out during those times. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. That's where we'll let you know when we're uh, going to a new movie or going live on Twitch. Or we got new content coming out, that kind of thing. And there's Instagram, and then ours our website, and then I talk great. So you should always watch. <laughs> Those links are over there. They're all right here, and now they're like techy and blue and silver. And and they go echo, and they echo. All right. Josh is dumb. Oh, come on. But, but, what if they like me? <laughs> Why don't they like me? <laughs>